Hello everybody, don't forget like and subscribe. T plus 30 seconds there. into flight, Falcon 9 has cleared the tower at Space Launch Complex 4 East. Woo. We're just coming back up on the point of throttling down to prepare for max Q, which One is the point of maximum stuff. aerodynamic stresses on the vehicle. The super push push on it now. Squeeze you can see some, to you can see some great views of the California coast down there below. Clear die in it. She's got a lovely landing, that's why we're recording. Yeah, check out the views. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Supersonic, look, a minute. One minute, Whew. supersonic. Take an eight minute walk max to Q. space and back, eh? And there we go, we just passed through the point of max Q, which means we have throttled the M1D engines back up. And coming up next, we do have five events, starting with Miko or main engine cutoff, stage separation, stage one flip, second engine start one, and then the beginning of boost back burn. Ooh. All good fun, eh? Today's mission is what we refer to as a return to launch site mission. And that means that the first stage will flip around and point back towards towards the launch site where it took off from, and it will perform a boost back burn. Should be coming up on main engine cutoff in around 30 seconds. Getting a great tracking shot of the vehicle from the ground here. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Boost back startup. Wow, beautiful views here. You just heard and saw those five events that happened back to back, including main engine cutoff, stage separation, stage one flip, second engine start one, and the beginning of boost back burn. On the left side of your screen there, you see the first stage performing its boost back burn, heading towards the launch site. And on the right is the MBAC engine continuing to accelerate our payloads into orbit. Separation confirmed. And there go those two fairing halves. You can now see all of our payloads exposed to the vacuum of space. We should be wrapping up the boost back burn on the first stage in just around 10 seconds. Stage one boost back shut down. There we go, we just had confirmation of the end of boost back burn. The next major milestone coming up is the entry burn on our first stage, and that's scheduled to occur around the T plus six minute mark. Now on the right side of your screen, we're currently in the first of four MVAC burns, and this burn should last for another four minutes or so. And as I mentioned, the next milestone will be the first stage's entry burn, coming up in just a couple minutes. For those of you who are unfamiliar, Falcon 9 performs two burns in order to land. The first burn of the two is the entry burn, and that slows the vehicle down before hitting the denser parts of the Earth's atmosphere. And without this burn, we'd only be using the atmospheric drag to slow the vehicle down, which would add a significant amount of stress on the rocket. So for today's mission, a single Merlin 1D engine will relight for this entry burn. And following that entry burn, the booster will go through the final burn, which is the landing burn, and that'll slow the vehicle down just enough to make a soft landing on our landing pad. You can see there on the left side of your screen a view of the booster. Falcon 9 is equipped with four hypersonic grid fins, and those are positioned near the top of the first stage. And these help, st help steer the vehicle as it returns to Earth.
Well, on the left side of your screen, you can see a great ground tracking shot of the first stage. Those white puffs coming off Falcon 9 are... Vehicles are on a nominal trajectory. Those are cold nitrogen gas, which help with our attitude control. And this is just making small adjustments to the vehicle as it heads back towards the landing zone. On the right side of your screen, MVAC is continuing to burn towards orbit. Currently traveling over 11,000 kilometers per hour. Again, coming up on that entry burn on the first stage in around 30 seconds. The entry burn will slow the vehicle down, so pay attention to that telemetry in the bottom left side of your screen. Stage one entry burn startup. And there's that startup of the entry burn. This burn should last just around 20 seconds. We can see the vehicle rapidly decelerating now. Stage one entry burn shut down. And there we go, that concludes our entry burn. The first stage has one more burn left prior to landing. And again, as I mentioned earlier, we will be attempting to recover this booster for the fifth time Stage today. Stage one MTS is saved. The Falcon 9 first stage is equipped with four landing legs made of carbon fiber and aluminum honeycomb. Vehicles are on a nominal trajectory. You should see those Stage legs deploy just prior to landing. On the left, you can see a tracking shot of the first stage, and on the right, you can see the onboard cameras looking down towards the ground. Should be starting up that landing right any second. Board. Confirmed. Wow, what a view of that landing, folks. As you just saw and probably heard, we did just successfully land the first stage back at landing zone four. So that marks, the fifth guidance. that marks the fifth landing for this specific booster. It also marks SpaceX's 280th landing of an orbital class rocket. Next milestone coming up in just around 15 seconds should be the shutdown of our second stage engine, the MVAC. Well, I hope you enjoyed the ride, everybody. I thought we'd take a 10 minute jaunt to space and back, you know. Bit of, you know, bespoke engineering. Landing of that first oh, stage there goes a bit of fuzz. Oh, no, I'll get caught up in somebody's freaking windscreen wiper somewhere, won't I? Hey? At this stage. Oopsie daisy. And this will set up the process of payload deployment as the Falcon 9 second stage has gone into a nominal parking orbit. It'll remain in this coast phase until T plus 15 minutes, 12 seconds. That'll be a second burn lasting just four seconds. And then that'll set up the satellite deployment, which will begin with a satellite called Hammer, which is being deployed by a company called ExoLaunch, which has taken charge of 28 of the 53 payloads on board this mission. Mm -hmm. Because this is a transporter rideshare, SpaceX is going to be continuing on with its broadcast through satellite deployment. Well, but with that, everybody, I'm going to uh, call it a day. I'll say thank you very much to uh, what we got. Blimey, space flight now. The launch pad and uh, NASA, NASA space flight um, and SpaceX, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, well done, everybody. Another successful launch and hopefully deployment. But we're not going to hang around for that. We've got another rocket going off in about an hour and a half. So stay tuned, eh? 
dodgy gets uh, just going to make some uh, videos this evening of the rockets going up. Hopefully it'll all be successful. The weather was fantastic and what a wonderful fifth landing for that rear end, eh? They ain't doing too bad and it's becoming a bit of a norm, isn't it? Hmm? Very good everyone, everyone involved doing that repeatedly and making it a, uh, a normal part of everyday life now, isn't it, eh? Space flight. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe at the Dodgy Git Show. And don't forget to check out today's live shows as well as uh, my others, of course. And my, uh, what is it, my shorts tab. Mm? Anyway, see you later, everyone. Bye, bye, bye.